All right, Aqua Droid here, the Aqua Pioneer. I am uh, going to give you an update. I've been cycling the system for three days. Uh, a couple of things I added was, uh, if you look down in here, I put in a float switch so the pump will shut out if it gets too high or low. Sorry. Um, down here, I added a four output uh, air pump, which only has one line right now. So I'm going to fix that tonight kind of crudely stacked on wood. Um, one thing I've been cycling last video didn't have all the all the media in, did get that in. Um, transplanted a pepper and this lettuce from the garden and um, I don't think there's enough nutrients. I was worried that they were really wilty and then I put this shade over them today to keep them out of the sun and um, Looks like they perked up a bit, and they perk up at night, so let's see if uh, they're going to survive. Um, I did have an issue with my swirl filter. You see down there the white, I had to increase the height by two and a half inches. I wasn't getting enough flow out of the swirl filter. It was too even with my input pipes to my grow bed. I might raise that up a little bit more to get more flow. I had to cut back on the pump. So uh, that involves more than I like, because I have to take that 2 inch, since I use cement to put it together, I have to take that, cut it in half, figure out the length, put a coupling in, but I may just do that eventually. One of the most disturbing things is that my fish tank must have shifted while I was refilling it after it drained one night from siphoning, so I have to drain all the water out of the fish tank and then shift it over so that my pipes up here at the top don't tilt real bad, but other than that, we're good. So that's the update. See you later.